Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft, coming to you from a very wet far north Queensland, Australia. Yes, last three days we have had torrential heavy rain and that's why I'm a little late. It's been far too noisy for me to try and do a video for this particular prize draw for the gift away for the Annabelle shawl where you had to guess the grams and how much you think I paid to make that shawl. <sighs> I'm hoping the rain stays away. It's been gone for a couple of hours, otherwise it gets really noisy. The Annabelle shawl, don't forget, is a tutorial by Bag A Day. I really love it. It's very lacy. I have been on a bit of a cotton thread kick. Doreen Emma's mum asked me for a hat, come maybe a headband in lightweight yarn to wear this time of year. She's had her hair cut short. And I think she's a little tired of people asking her if she's sick. And she said, I want something to dress my hair up. And that was on Friday. So today, over the weekend, I explored cotton. I had the Annabelle shawl was made with crochet cotton made in China. Mali, Mali, super strength black is the color. 3.25 millimeter knitting needle. That's it. That's all the info. 50 grams, one of those. And that was what I used. It is so soft, unbelievably soft. So for Doreen's hat, I used cotton four ply by Heirloom, made in Australia, 50 gram ball. Probably used one and a bit balls for this. Here is Doreen's hat. It's not quite finished. I want her to try it on first in case I have to make it smaller, to like a smaller brim to fit her head. Because I have a buff head, but I did notice hers is quite small. On this model, because she's quite fine, it's a little, it's very slouchy, but actually on, it's only a little slouchy. Now, this tutorial. I don't think, I'm not going to tell you who I followed. It took three attempts supposed to be a skull cap and every time it turned out big and slouchy and the third time I decided that's it I'm just going to finish it off my way and make a little slouch but there you have it I can't tell you the color no color name but that's the other cotton one I've had a go with and I quite like it I think it's really pretty I think it's turned out well and hopefully Dorian will like it and this cost me just over 50 cents to make because this yarn came from a charity shop last year up on the Tablelands. It's part of a pack that I bought that was all uh, had ball bands unopened. Um, I think I made the Ziggy blanket out of some of the yarn. And it's quite a bit of this cotton and uh, in different colours. And um, I'm finally getting around to using it. It's not as soft as the other one. It's good for a hat because it's got a bit of a structure. And I probably would use it for amigurumi or like washcloths or something. But yeah, there you go. Back to the Annabelle shawl. So the guess was you had to work out how many grams of yarn I used to make beautiful shawl. And what do you think it costs me? Well, I used 214 grams to make that lovely lacy shawl. And it cost me, you ready for it? $10.62. They are $2.50, a little coney cake thing, from a shop called Silly Sollies, which is like a super discount store. The only thing I could probably relate it to is a dollar store in the USA. But there you go, $2.50. And that beautiful shawl with the grams worked out, $10.62 to make. Now, did anyone guess? No, no one got exactly on it, but I did say closest to the pin. And there was someone close, reasonably close. There was a second one a little bit behind her and then everybody was miles away. And the reason I'm smiling is everyone thought, most people thought it was $30, $50, $60 to make. And that really makes me feel good because it, it looks like it's real classy and expensive when it doesn't cost me that much. 
So our winner of the guess along $10 voucher is da -da -da -da, Amanda McCoy. Amanda guessed, I need my glasses, 175 grams, $16 to make. And she was the closest to the pin. So congratulations, Amanda. Everyone, make sure you congratulate her on guessing how much that is. And if you could email me, Amanda, we can either work out a $10 pattern prize through Etsy or Ravelry or a voucher, depending on what you'd like to do and what I can arrange. But congratulations for getting close to the pin. It was fun reading what everyone put, and I've got a big smile because everyone, most people thought it was a lot more expensive than it was. 22 people commented, but only 12 people put in a guess at the amounts. So Amanda was one of 12 to come closest to the pin. There you have it. It was fun. I am getting a little tired of cotton thread. It is a little hard on the hands. Let me know what you think. Was that value for money? Because it is soft, it drapes well, it looks lovely. When I block and wash it, I'll let you know whether it washes well. Okay, until next time. Hopefully we have sunshine, better lighting, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, stay well. Bye for now.